Hello and welcome to the second episode of biz to biz TV here at the Custard Factory in Birmingham. Now, this week's show focuses on events and exhibitions. So without further ado, let's get indoors to the warm and start the show. On this week's show, we will be seeing studio segments by the following companies. Great to see you back here at the biz to biz TV studio. And, and thank you so much for watching over the last couple of weeks. Do you know, we've had over a thousand business owners tune in to watch the show. That's five times more than we ever expected from the first show, which is just terrific. Um, and to those of you who got in touch directly, I'd like to give special thanks to those of you who described the show as brilliant, as very impressive, and my personal favorite as the gadget show for business. Now, most companies have at some stage or another either visited or exhibited at large trade shows across the country. You're walking for hours, you're talking for hours, and by the end of the show, you've got a pocket full of business cards that you have to deal with when you get back home. But with the growth of smaller businesses around the UK and, of course, Europe, what's taking place now is smaller boutique shows. Now, we were invited along uh, to the Business Growth Show, one of 40 shows that they have annually around the country. Philip Jones invited us there. He's one of the organisers and you're going to recognise him in the video. He's the one with the whistle. I'm here with biz to biz TV at um, the Business Growth Show in Northampton. Now, this is one of their smaller events for local businesses. It's a regional event, um, one of the many that they have right the way across the country. Now, we're going to find out a little bit more about it in just a moment. But first, I've got to nip off because I'm about to go and do some speed networking. So can't wait. Come on. The idea of speed networking is really simple. You get two minutes to talk to everyone in the group, then Sergeant Major Philip Jones blows a whistle to let you know when it's time to move on to the next potential business contact. In my session, I spoke with almost a dozen people with services ranging from printing to promotion and health, all before the final whistle blew. Local businesses uh, have, have turned out on a damp, dreary morning and they've made the effort to come out and I think they're challenging themselves to get out there and make a difference to their business. And we've had close to 180 businesses actually attend the show today. So for a small, if you like, regional type of event, we're very pleased with them. Mark, we're here at the Business Growth Show. Um, thanks very much for inviting us along. Um, so tell us a little bit about the company. When did it all begin for you? Um, 2005, I, I first set up, if you like, getting involved in networking and the Business Growth Show evolved from there. So 2008, we started branding ourselves as the Business Growth Show and running unique events in the exhibition side of things. Fantastic. And, and when you started back then, did you ever envisage it would be as, as big as it is now? Because I mean, you've got thousands of companies who, who come to your events. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you set out a business, you always think like, where do I want to be and where I'm going type things. So always at the back of my mind, I said, like, I want to grow this business. I want to be a national brand. Mm -hmm. So, yes, but it's been hard. Today, for example, we've just been part of the, of the speed dating, the speed networking. What kind of businesses have you had come here this morning? The, the businesses that come through the door are a range of businesses, so the small, medium-sized businesses, the micro-types, right the way up to the corporates. I mean, we just had Centre Parks in there. Mm. We, uh, we get the likes of Microsoft in there, but at the same time, we're a growth show, so we're, we're trying to attract entrepreneurs, business owners, businesses starting out, trying to get themselves on that first run of another. Predominantly over the last eight years of running this business, we, we've, we've kind of spread ourselves across the whole of the UK, running uh, you know, up to 40 shows a year. We're changing tact a little bit, so we're, we're now consolidating that to around 12 shows a year, but we'll be uh, still covering the likes of Scotland, uh, the North East, uh, North West, Midlands, 
uh, home counties, London, Wales. We have to evolve in if we're going to survive and grow our business. So what we're challenging ourselves with, and it is a challenge, is to bring um, 12 super shows across the UK. We're going to start with five next year. So amalgamate and consolidate all the shows that we've currently done in the past into regions. Um, where we used to get about 40 exhibitors, go for 100 exhibitors. And where we used to get about three to 500 delegates, go for 1,000 plus delegates to come through the door. We've had the, the speed networking and you've had lots of different businesses coming in and talking. What's going to be happening this afternoon, Mark? Well, we've got a number of speakers still to come uh, along today. So we've got um, you know a speaker that's currently going on. She's talking about referral uh, opportunities, how to build your business through referrals. And then we've got Rachel Taplin is this afternoon. She's talking about how to get in the press without spending loads of money. I think that's always an interesting concept there. Um, Rachel, tell us a little bit about Blue Boo. What is it that you do? It's slightly different. Um, I've been in business now for 18 years. And in one of my businesses, I've had lots of publicity. I got on radio, on TV, and in press. And everyone kept saying, how did you do it? So I speak all around the country now and share my story of how easy it is to secure publicity. So Blue Boo has been put together to help small business owners and entrepreneurs entrepreneurs get onto radio get onto TV wow. like this yeah. and it's all really just to try and inspire them to take action I think we're all a bit scared about PR we don't know how to go yeah. about it so I just kind of give them the inside of secrets excellent um, and how long have you been coming to the business growth show oh the business growth show has been fantastic I've been coming now for 18 months okay I've met some wonderful people Mark is just amazing very very generous to help I've grown my business because of the business growth show and it's just not, not only just from customers but suppliers as well and meeting mentors and everything. It's a great community. So, yeah, it's been fantastic. And do, so do you find that you're learning from other companies as well and Without you can sort of doubt. share your knowledge yeah. and your wealth of experience? Yeah, and with, I think, um, so I kind of think in business it's all about connections, which is what the Grizzlies Grow Show is all about. It's all about networking. I think where it's helped us is because a lot of the exhibitors are getting to know each other. We can help each other, so what's working yeah. for you? I, I've just been speaking to a guy that's going to Chicago next oh, well, week. Oh, and oh, we've got, oh, oh, you're going to that event and how's it going for you and everything. So yeah, so it's amazing, both for new customers and for suppliers and mentors as well. Excellent. So, so Gary, tell us a little bit about the intellectual property office then. What is it that you do? Well, the government agency is responsible for protecting intellectual property in the UK. So that's things like trademarks and copyright. A lot of small businesses are unaware who owns it, how you get it, the cost, etc. So it's why we come out to events such as this to uh, get our message across, really. Fantastic. And, and have you been working with the business growth show for long? Oh, we've been with them for a number of years now. They do really good events, different locations all around the UK. Um, great, Mark's a great guy to work with. Um, and again, normally lots of people here. Yeah, lots of people interested in what we do, so yeah, good events. But there's a real buzz in the air, isn't there? It's, a, it's an exciting sort of atmosphere. Absolutely. I think it's because of different regions, you know, different areas. We, we probably, exhibitions don't generally go, generally go to. Um, normally it's Birmingham's, your London's. This is smaller events, but in, in areas that people don't uh, normally go to. So yeah, it's and it's there. easy to reach, I guess, as well, for I mean, local businesses. Absolutely. It's getting the local people, you know, approaching the local people and getting them interested in what we're doing. Yeah. Fantastic. So you'll be at the next one as well then, Gary? Uh, I think so, yeah. We're definitely the next one and probably in the next couple after that as well. Fantastic. Right, well, thanks so much for talking to us. Pleasure. Thank you. I've never been speed networking before, but I've got to say it's a brilliant way of meeting people. And Philip Jones, well, he's a fantastic Sergeant Major. Now, if you're keen to tell the business world about your event, about your business, about your product and services, then get in touch with us on this address or you can keep in touch on Twitter or LinkedIn. Um, our publicity and news service is completely free, so grab yourself some free publicity. Now, let's have a little look and see our contributors' adverts for this week. There's nothing like the experience of Vegas. Except perhaps the Variety Society Vegas experience. Play the tables, enjoy a drink, then take your seats for a real Vegas show. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April. You're shut down in May. The 
Vegas experience is something really special. A theater show and fun casino all in one. So the excitement starts as soon as you get to the theater. You're looking for a way to reduce paper waste and expand your marketing reach. You're looking for a way to keep your sales force on message and up to date. You're looking for a way to make selling your products so simple they almost sell themselves. You're looking for Icon the revolutionary cloud-based sales information system from Governor Media for exhibitions, sales, and seamless brand recognition. Documents on the ICON system are available instantly for exhibitions and representatives. Intelligent Marketing, Governor Media. The first advert that you saw there was by a very, very talented pair, uh, Hughes and Bentley. Founders of the Variety Society, Tracy Hughes and Jennifer Bentley have become experts at organising and performing corporate events. Now, the Vegas experience is just one of their successful shows that you'll see at corporate events and various theatres around the country. So sit back and have a few laughs with Hughes and Bentley. Well, I was actually sitting at the side of it, so I had a good view of everything behind the sides, and it was just fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. I'm obsessed by things like Dynamo, Dan Brown, and things like that, and he was up there with that, and it was absolutely brilliant. Sure that you have your exercise in front of my clubs. Just like the set at home. Smaller. mixture of uh, the variety that they've got there's a lot of comedy the magic the illusions the singing it's nice because there's something for everybody so there's a, a nice whole bag of stuff going in there so everyone everyone in the audience is always kept happy on the way here in the car i hit these two old ladies don't know why i just got out the car and slapped them it's difficult to pick a highlight of the show but i would have to say it's probably my jokes hmm might have to go and convince jen though for the routines that we were writing, we were looking for something that encompassed the singing and the magic together in one trick without it being like the classic cheesy magician. So we found a way of making a trick relevant to the song by putting it with the song The Rose and then floating a rose to that song. It taps into people's emotions, which is something that's very, very difficult to do when you're performing magic. I think there's a really nice chemistry. I think you can tell that they bounce off each other really well and the chemistry that they've got that, that they obviously and the energy that they've got that they put into the act makes it special, it makes it unique, which is really good.
the show, it was very good. And I like the last illusion. How they did that, I don't know, but it was fantastic. The end tricks, I think, is the best trick in the show. a dynamic duo, Hughes and Bentley. And you know that saying, you can't kid a kidder. Well, after all the sort of initial filming was over, Tracy told us a fantastic little story about someone who almost got the better of him. Watch this. We were working on the uh, flying rose. Flying rose or the floating rose? It can fly. Do you want to start again? Never thought about that before. <laughs> we were working on the floating rose and, uh, and we did it time and time and time again to get it right. And again, it took a good while and I ended up because it we set the thing on fire I ended up burning my hand quite badly um, <laughs> and we, we were touring somewhere I can't remember where it was now and we found this little chemist stuck in the middle of nowhere um, and we went in and I explained to the lady I said I've, I've burnt my hand and um, I've come in here for some it was all raised veins all it was, yeah. liver coloured and I've, I've come for some ointment she said well how on earth have you done that and without going into too much detail I said we were working on the new trick where set fire to this piece of paper and and it comes out as a rose and she was looking at me and nodding and smiling. <laughs> little and tiny old woman. Yeah, she said, well, I, I think I understand that, she said. And I said, well, what do you suggest? And she looked at me with the most lovely smile and i never forget it. She said, what do you suggest? Well, mm, more practice. I think. <laughs> Brilliant that was. <laughs> This is you, and you have this really cool and awesome web application that you want to share with the rest of the world. So you create a website, which kind of acts like a bridge between you and the whole world. It helps you connect with people, so they can learn about your application, stay updated, give you feedback, help you earn money, and so on. You can see how important your web app is, and if it has any security bugs, it gives bad guys a perfect opportunity to destroy it in every possible way. And when they do it, you'll no longer be connected. People won't know about what's going on. Your income will suffer, and all your hard work will go down the drain. So you want to search your website for any bugs and fix them before disaster strikes. Since not all of us have a personal virtual assistant to do our work, we hire someone who can do it for us. The bigger your site is, the more people will be required to do the job, which means more money and time. And in the end, you might end up broke. Wouldn't it be great if you could achieve all that work without losing money? Well, now you can with the help of Nprobe. And this is how it works. You go to the website, register, enter a couple of details about your site, and start. No matter how big your web app is, it will find all the loopholes. You no longer have to worry about hiring others and save 15 times the money that's usually required for manual testing. Think about all the stuff you can do by saving that much time and money. And the beauty is that you can do it yourself, at any place and any time. So what are you waiting for? Head over to our website and start using Nprobe today. You're looking for a way to reduce paper waste and expand your marketing reach. You're looking for a way to keep your sales force on message and up to date. You're looking for a way to make selling your products so simple they almost sell themselves. You're looking for Icon the revolutionary cloud-based sales information system from Governor Media for exhibitions, sales, and seamless brand recognition. Documents on the ICON system are available instantly for exhibitions and representatives.
Intelligent Marketing. Governor Media. Did you miss the last live show? Well, um, if you tune into our website, biz2biztv.com, you can watch it on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. GMT. Now you can watch the whole show or you can watch the individual segments that interest you. So you never have to miss out on the good stuff. Now we have a lot of fun at the biz 2 biz TV studio and we work brilliantly as a team. But if you're struggling at the office and it's feeling a little bit difficult, then you might be thinking of a little thing called team building. I can feel you inwardly cringing right now because usually that involves something that you hate and involves making things with paper clips and just all sorts of silly things. But imagine if that team building exercise involved creating your very own TV studio, your very own film set, and then going out on location and shooting that video. Imagine no more. Lights, camera, action. Creating a good short film or advert requires a lot of input from a large team of people. The studio team will need to use all sorts of skills to tell their story in a video form. How well the studio works together will be obvious in the final edited video. Hopefully it will be good enough to impress the Academy. Simon Hitchcock! God save us! <laughs> Well, that's all from us for this week's show. Um, our next live show will be out in two weeks' time. But remember, if you missed this episode, you can catch it in a week's time at 10 a.m. next Thursday. Or if you missed any of the individual sections, you can watch them anytime you like on our website. So that just leaves for me to say a great big thank you to you for watching and to all of our contributors. From me, Rosie Wells, have a profitable week, and I'll see you soon on Vista Biz TV. Bye.